Nebraska, and he was found uh, chasing after people trying to get their sandwiches from them. <laughs> so somehow he was perhaps raised by humans, and he lost his fear of people, and he learned that food came from people. And once those people, you know, they, they decided to raise him, and then they just decided to release him back out to the wild, and that's not how it works, unfortunately. So he thought food came from people, and that's what he was doing. He was chasing after people in order to get food. You see that turkey vulture? Everyone there's a turkey vulture? Oh, sorry. Stick. Turkey vulture hovering right above us. He probably smells all of the the rabbit meat that we've been feeding our birds. Vultures have a very good sense of smell. They can smell a dead animal that's a mile away. So I bet they smell some of the food we've been feeding our birds, and they they've come over to check it out. They're like, hmm, is there anything we can eat? So. Bald eagles, they are one of two species of eagle found in the United States. The other is the golden eagle. Now, golden eagles are not really seen around here. They're found more out west. They like wide open spaces and mountainous areas. But uh, when bald eagles are five years old and younger, they're pretty much all brown. They don't get that white head and white tail until they're about five years old. So to the untrained eye, a uh, you know a young juvenile bald eagle can look very similar to a golden eagle. But take a look at where you're standing. If you're in this area, especially if you're close to water, like a lake or a river, you're most likely looking at. <laughs>
United States. Um, they're still an endangered species in some areas, uh, but they became so in threatened and endangered for a couple different reasons. Uh, one of the big causes was the use of the pesticide DDT. Um, now that horrible chemical, that pesticide, it was sprayed over crops uh, back in the you know 40s and 50s, I believe. And that chemical would kill the you know kill the insects that ate the crops, but it also hurt other creatures as well. It would sink into the ground. It would go into the ground water, and then that would reach the rivers, lakes, and streams, and it would have pollute the water. It would pollute the fish, and then of course those bald eagles would eat those fish, and they got infected as well. And what happened was it caused the female's eggs to not develop properly. So she would lay her eggs, and the eggshells wouldn't even be fully developed. The eggshells would be so thin that when she came to lay on the eggs to keep them warm, she would just break them right underneath her body. So many bald eagles died before they even hatched out of the egg because of the use of that horrible chemical. This also happened to the peregrine falcon as well. Uh, but luckily we realized that DDT was the main problem, uh, was the main cause for the drop in bald eagle population, and uh, we banned the use of DDT, it is now illegal to use that chemical, and uh, with breeding and release programs of bald eagles, with just general education of the public on how important they are uh, to our country, they are our national symbol after all, uh, the bald eagle was taken off of the endangered species list, um, in the year 2007, and they have been doing very, very well ever since then. Their population continues to increase every year. Every year we have more and more nesting bald eagles in Missouri that will actually stay in Missouri for the entire year. They will build their nests um, and hatch their babies right here in Missouri. All right, now that you guys have had a good look at McGuire, we'll do one last thing. Who wants to guess how much they think he weighs? What do you guys think? Uh -huh. Ten pounds? Okay, any other guesses? Thirty. Uh -huh. Fifteen? Okay, in the yellow shirt back there? Forty pounds? All right. Fifty? Third, what is it? Ten? All right, how about way in the back? Oh, what is that? I can't. 30, okay. He's holding up his fingers. All right, all right, we'll do one more guess right here. 18. All right, well, those are actually all very good guesses. Um, a lot of times when we bring the bald eagle to, like, an elementary school, the kids are saying, you know, 200, 300. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. I am extremely strong. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in reality, McGuire uh, here, he only weighs about 10 pounds. So you, a couple of you said that. Very, very good. He's only about 10 pounds. Uh, now, you have to remember, birds, they have to be light enough to be able to fly, so they do have hollow bones. So those are extremely...